This is Inspire 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life including your past, your present and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 23rd of January until the 29th of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the Four of Wands. In the past, you were enjoying a period of happiness and stability in terms of your work life or your love and relationship. This card indicates a sense of harmony and balance as well as completion, and thus symbolizes a time of peace and joy in life that come as the result of often difficult and challenging effort. The Four of Wands also indicates general good fortune, satisfaction, and fulfillment. It is the perfect time to get together with your family and friends and to celebrate all the wonderful times that you have had together. Often, this card reflects the holiday period where you get together with the extended family and join in a celebration. Alternatively, it may be as simple as inviting your closest friends over for an intimate dinner and a few glasses of nice wine. The Four of Wands often points to a marriage, engagement, birth of a child, a birthday, graduation or other type of celebration that marks a special milestone. If you have been working on a project, you will reach an important milestone and will have cause to celebrate. You have completed a significant phase of the project and can feel very proud of what you have accomplished so far. This card augurs a time of joy and satisfaction in life and represents the personal gratification of a job well done, a goal attained, and a vision beginning to be realized. Given the Four of Wands is closely associated with the home environment, you may be working on improving or renovating your home. You may have recently purchased a new home or are very close to finding a new home and getting ready to settle down in your new environment. The Four of Wands indicates peace, harmony and tranquility. You may find a refuge from the turmoils of life, perhaps by meeting someone new in a romantic setting, or by finding a new place to live that is away from it all. If you have been experiencing any disagreements with others, now will be the time to make a peace offering and instead focus on creating harmony in the relationship. The Four of Wands provides encouragement when things seem too daunting. The card serves as a reminder that most things in life do not come easily, and so when you do accomplish a major milestone, you should be proud of everything that you have achieved. 
the four of wands is also representative of move from one stage to another, and moving past mistakes and challenges to a place of peace, acceptance and happiness. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the six of wands. Not only have you succeeded in achieving your goals, you are now being publicly acknowledged for your efforts and your results. You may have recently received an award, public acclaim or acknowledgement from your peers for the work that you have done. It may even be just a pat on the back or getting praise or recognition for your work. You have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a successful outcome in your endeavors. You have managed to get through the confusion of the Five of Wands, minimizing your distractions, focusing on the task at hand. You have overcome the challenges along the way, and now you are focusing your energies on the one goal that will lead to your success. This is your time to shine and to come out on top. The Six of Wands is such positive encouragement to believe in who you are and your accomplishments so far. Have faith in what you have personally achieved and how this will be received by others. Do not let fear or guilt stand in the way of your success. You ought to feel proud of what you have achieved and not afraid to hold your head up high and feel worthy of others' attention. The Six of Wands focused on creating success and building your personal brand and reputation. You want to be successful at what you do but at the same time, you want to ensure that others know about it and give you the recognition you deserve. You may need to promote yourself more frequently by sharing your success stories with others and encouraging them to follow a similar journey. If you do not already, you will soon have some great success stories to share within your personal networks. You may even be interested in applying for awards or scholarships in order to build your brand and receive public recognition. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Four of Cups. In the future, you will be bored or dissatisfied with the status quo. You may also be feeling disengaged, apathetic, or unmotivated. Life has become stale or flat and there is little that excites you anymore. To overcome this, the Four of Cups suggests a need to re-evaluate your situation and to look deep within your own psyche to find understanding and meaning. Turn your attention inward to find the truth for which you are searching. Avoid distractions and examine your heart and mind to gain clarity. The might be an offer has been presented to you but you are holding off making any sort of decision or evaluation of that opportunity until you have had more time for reflection and consideration. Notice that while the man in this card has not accepted the offer being presented to him, he has not completely rejected it either. The cup will continue to be there and the decision to accept or reject it can be made at any point. For now, though, it is the time for contemplation, research and meditation. When all of the answers are in, and it feels right emotionally, then you can take action but in the short term, you do not need to make an immediate choice. Similarly, the Four of Cups signifies disappointment in someone or in a situation. You may be growing tired of the same old struggle that has been carried on too long in the past. As a result, you have started to withdraw and go within yourself to seek greater peace and tranquility. If you are becoming particularly pouty or sulky about your predicament, the Four of Cups is then a call to action. It is time to wake up, be alert and to be open to new experiences that offer a more positive outcome. The Four of Cups can sometimes point to defensiveness. This can be noticed in the body language displayed in the crossed arms and legs of the man on the card. He chooses to ignore the possibility of what the cup has to offer. Possibly he has been hurt emotionally before, as this is the suit of cups, and he is fearful to expose himself to that again, hence he is closing himself off to this opportunity. 
Consider what opportunities you are ignoring or declining, and ask yourself whether this is because you truly believe you would not benefit from it, or whether this is because you are fearful of what may follow. Be mindful of any defensiveness in your responses and reactions. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is. Take the next step now. If you feel stalled or stuck, this card is offering a solution. It is time to take action. Even a small step in the direction of your vision will help you feel a sense of progress and hope. You already know what the next step is, as your heart is leading you there. Imagine what you would do if you had unlimited time, finances, and energy. This is your answer. As you step into the world of the unlimited, your resources come to you exactly as you need them. Provided that you listen to and follow your inner wisdom. Remember that you will never be asked to do anything that could harm you or a loved one, as your divine guidance is a conversation of love. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.